Our Rutgers University team has been busy implementing Phase 2 of the National Sustainable Strawberry Initiative. This funding has allowed us to take the new genetics we've developed and test them on a growing number of farms in our area. But more importantly, additional farmers are participating in applied demonstration projects throughout New Jersey, encouraging a greater interest in growing strawberries. In Phase 2 of the project, we are looking at crop nutrient needs to maximize yields and improve product quality. We are also testing a new technology to determine real-time needs of crops while in the field. Now let's get some updates from our project coordinator, Matthew Milburn. Hi, I'm Matt Milburn here at the Middlesex County Office of Rutgers Co-op Extension. Today we're at our first research field. We plant the strawberry plants the last two weeks of summer going into fall because the cooler days in fall allow for a proper flower bud and crown formation. More flower buds means more strawberries in the spring. So under the black plastic we have twin wall irrigation which goes throughout the whole entire bed. Our plants are all spaced out a foot each and as you can see all the rows are staggered. This allows proper aeration and water dispersion throughout the rows. Farmers are very eager to work with us because they're able to see the potential of our new New Jersey Agriculture Experiment Station varieties firsthand in their own fields. Throughout this summer, we've added additional farmers to the project, which enables us to see how our plants respond on different soil types throughout the state, along with different microclimates. Now let's hear from some of our participating farmers who value on-farm research that can directly benefit their customers. My name is Mark Tebbin. I'm the uh, farm manager here at Cecil Creek in Mickleton, New Jersey. Uh, this is our first year. We're transitioning this land o to organic. Uh, it was commodity crop conventional land for decades. Yeah, the sandy soil does present a challenge, especially in an organic system. It's very low in organic matter and it leaches nutrients. We did put down a lot of compost beforehand, so that helped it out. With a relatively long growing season down here, different varieties mature at different times. So we're hoping um, when we mix up the varieties a little bit more that we can extend the season as well as um, you know try to find one that works really well in our soil. Our primary farm business is a CSA. We have 60 members our first year and we're hoping to expand uh, the membership for next year. Our county extension agent, Michelle Casella, who's been a big help this first year, uh, she told us about the project. It was exciting for us because we like to diversify. You can see behind us, uh, we've got 20 different varieties of peppers. So um, rather than just planting one variety of strawberries, uh, we'd like to see a mix, especially with organic farming. Like having a diversity of crops is great in case one is susceptible to a disease or a pest, then you have other ones that might not be. So this year we're, we're more than doubling the size of our strawberry patch. And uh, we're excited to see these uh, new Rutgers varieties, if they grow well on this really sandy soil, and uh, to see if our members like them. Yeah, uh, they say we are going to have a uh, colder than normal winter. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these varieties do with that. Uh, we do cover it with a, with a fabric row cover over the winter. Um, and then we'll pull it off in early spring and, and see what we got. I'm Bob Muth. My wife and I own and manage Muth Family Farms. We're down in Gloucester County, down in southern New Jersey. Our farm totals 118 acres. We get organic stuff here. Uh, well, a lot of that is marketed through with CSA. Which this year is about 500 families and it's been growing by leaps and bounds. People more and more are in tune with buying fresh, buying local. We also sell to chain stores throughout the southern, central, and northern New Jersey. The main difference between North and South Jersey is our soils down here will warm a little quicker. We tend to be a little bit earlier. We're less prone to some of the frosts that they would get up there in the northern end of the state. Strawberries have been a very, very important crop for us for years and years. They're all marketed right here off the farm. And for years, our customers are demanding large berries with good flavor. And with the predominant uh, varieties that we've had in the past, we've been inconsistent, especially on the flavor end. And I'm hopeful that the new varieties that are coming out of Rutgers will solve that uh, issue and we'll have berries that will be bigger and sweeter than ever before. It's all about keeping customers happy. We've always been heavily involved with Rutgers and New Jersey experiment stations. Their work and hard uh, efforts have kept us in the black. And that's what it's all about nowadays is trying to remain profitable here in New Jersey. One of the benefits of this program has been our ability to involve university students. 
This provides the students with valuable experience for their careers in agriculture and plant science. Hi, my name is Rebecca and I am a student at SEBS, the School of Environmental and Biological Science at Rutgers. Um, my major is biochemistry. I've actually learned a lot about horticulture and plant science and New Jersey farming, which sort of developed a passion for those sort of things because food is very important to us as people. Here at the project, I've done a lot of assisting with planting and data collection, and it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> we would like to thank all of our small farm cooperators for participating in our project with great enthusiasm. We would especially like to thank the University of Arkansas's National Sustainable Strawberry Initiative, which was graciously funded by the Walmart Foundation. Mm -hmm.